show you a really quick, easy, tasty recipe called chicken leek and cheddar bake. This would suit low carbers or keto. Okay, so you're going to need four chicken breasts that are diced, and I've just cut those into like one inch size chunks or bite sized pieces. Uh, then you're going to need two leeks washed and sliced. I've already washed these. We're going to slice them thinly up until about where the green bit starts to split because inside there you can still get dirt and grit. So basically you want to get up to the green but not much beyond that. So we'll slice both of those. Then you need one tablespoon of oil. I'm using olive oil but it doesn't actually specify so whatever you like. 25 grams of butter which is 0.88 ounces. Then I've got double cream and full cream milk. You need 150 mils of each or five ounces. Um, double cream is like heavy whipping cream in the States, but it's a bit thicker. And of course, full cream milk just means whole milk. It's not one or 2% milk. So the closest you could come would probably be to use the whipping cream for this if you don't have double cream where you live. And in fact, because it isn't quite as thick, you could just use regular cream for both of these. It's up to you. Uh, then lastly, we need 125 grams of shredded cheddar cheese. That's about 4.4 ounces. So now I'm just going to slice these leeks, cut the end off where your bitter roots are showing. And remember, don't go any further than the end of this green where the leaves start opening. In fact, I would come maybe even a half an inch before that I'd stop because you'll start getting dirt in there. So I've got a large frying pan heating up. Um, I've got it on medium high, and I'm going to add my tablespoon of oil. So now that that's hot, we're going to add the chicken and fry that for about five minutes. So that's been five minutes. Now the chicken's not fully cooked yet. We're going to add the leeks. Stir those in a bit. And then we're going to continue cooking this covered for about ten minutes. Now while that's cooking, I've just put a small saucepan on low heat and I've added the butter. We're just gonna wait for that to melt. Okay, so you can see my butter's melted. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the double cream. And I just want you to see, because it isn't something I'm used to from the States, that's how thick it is. It's kind of the consistency of sour cream. Stir that in to combine. So you just want to cook that for about one minute. Okay, that's about a minute and then we're going to remove it from the heat but leave the burner on because it'll go back on. I'm just going to remove it to the side here. Now you want to use a whisk and just gradually incorporate the milk. Now I've got that whisk in good. So now we're going to put it back on the heat and this time bring it to the boil. Okay, so the chicken's done, the 10 minutes has gone off, and as you can see there's actually quite a bit of liquid in there because we cooked it covered, so I'm going to drain that off before I use it. So as you can see that's just starting to come to the boil. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of seasoning, a little salt and pepper. Stir that in, and now we're going to add half the shredded cheese. And just continue to stir until that's melted. In fact, you can probably turn the heat off. Okay, so I've just got a small casserole dish here. I'm gonna go ahead and spread the chicken and leek mixture. I did lightly spray mine. Uh, the recipe didn't say to, but just in case I thought it was a good idea. I've also got my griller preheating, uh, which is also known as a broiler. Okay, so we're gonna pop it under there for a few minutes. Spread that out evenly. Now pour your cheese sauce evenly over the whole thing. Now sprinkle the remaining cheese on top. Pop that under that preheated griller. And I'm just gonna leave it in there for two to three minutes until it's hot and bubbly. That's been just two minutes. And you can see it's already bubbly and it's starting to get a little golden brown. So I'm going to pull that out. So there it is, chicken, leek, and cheddar bake. It's light and tasty. Um, there's a lot of the cheese sauce. I'm serving it with salad today, but you could make some vegetables on the side to help share that cheese sauce and it'd be really tasty. I hope you enjoy it.